the Turnbull government will push state and territories to adopt a law that allows terror suspects to be detained for two weeks before they are charged. The announcement comes ahead of a national security COAG meeting on Thursday. As it stands, only police in New South Wales have the power to detain a person for questioning for up to 14 days, with most states allowing only a maximum of seven. New South Wales is set to further strengthen its counter-terrorism measures with Premier Gladys Berejiklian announcing on Wednesday that terrorist-related offenders will find it hard to get parole. Ms Berejiklian made no apology about the tougher bail laws, as she made the announcement alongside Attorney General Mark Speakman, Police Commissioner Mick Fuller and Corrective Services Minister Peter Severin on Wednesday. We know these are tough laws, but unfortunately these circumstances are here because of what we see around the world and around Australia. We want to make sure that our citizens are protected in every way and unfortunately we know it only takes one person to cause and inflict harm on so many others, Ms Berejiklian told reporters in Sydney. Related reading The government also wants to establish a national facial recognition system by asking the states to provide driver's licenses. Currently the federal government only has access to passport photos, which only covers half the population. We believe if we bring together driver's licenses, then we can start to build up a national system that will enable us then more quickly to identify people, particularly to be able to identify people that are suspected of, or involved in, terrorist activities, Mr Turnbull told ABC Radio on Wednesday morning. He said the facial recognition system could be used in airports and shopping centres. The Prime Minister also flagged new criminal offences for possessing terrorism instruction manuals, including bomb recipes and other how-to guides. If you go up and ask somebody in the street, you know, do you think it should be lawful to carry around instructions to build bombs and chemical disposal devices and techniques for blowing up aeroplanes? I don't think anyone would agree that there is, Mr Turnbull said. There will also be new, clearer laws against terrorism hoaxes like fake bomb threats, Mr Turnbull said. Federal Shadow Defense Minister Richard Miles expressed bipartisan support. In an interview with Sky News on Wednesday, Mr Miles said, Our laws need to be continually updated to meet the challenges that are posed by terrorism and by the events that we have seen in the United States. He was referring to former accountant Stephen Paddock, 64, who killed 59 people and injured 527 as he rained down rapid fire on thousands of concert goers at the Country Music Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino on Sunday. Mr. Mull said while the opposition was yet to look closely at the proposed laws, we've worked hard with the government to be on the same page on a whole raft of laws that have made Australia a safer place. Related reading There have been five terrorism attacks on Australian soil since the national threat level was raised in September 2014 and 13 major counter-terrorism disruptions including the alleged plot to blow up a plane in Sydney earlier this year. Mr Turnbull announced Thursday's COAG meeting following the deadly Brighton siege in Melbourne in June, in which a man was shot dead and three police officers injured. Keeping Australians safe is my highest responsibility. This meeting is vital to stay ahead of the threat of terrorism, Mr Turnbull said, with AAP.